As we know, AMD and Samsung have been working on RDNA 2-based GPU for quite some time. Recently, we have seen some promising benchmarks, showing vast improvement in GPU performance. Now today, it looks like Samsung has brought even better news than what we were anticipating. It seems, Samsung has officially confirmed that their Exynos 2200's RDNA GPU will support ray tracing and posted a gameplay comparison graphics that gives out a glimpse of ray tracing technology on a smartphone. Ray tracing is a physically accurate simulation of how light bounces off objects, so it creates much more realistic reflections, but also more photorealistic lighting and shadows. Compared to the traditional method of lighting 3D models, ray tracing is computationally expensive, so using it in games requires hardware support to achieve real-time performance. It seems, we may get to see ray tracing in Exynos 2200 on the next-gen Samsung Galaxy S22 lineup, but expect it to be limited to the Exynos markets only, while Snapdragon units may not have the privilege at the time of launch. Even though, it would have been best to understand ray tracing with a video, Samsung chose to tease it with a picture. Stills won't be able to depict how good and smooth the gameplay is going to be, but we know for sure that the entire gaming arena has been leveled up. If you look at the official sample images, the ray tracing on Exynos 2200 is able to reflect details such as flames at the bottom of a tank, the building in the background, and the most visible difference of the car in both photos. The upcoming Exynos 2200 is also expected to support variable rate shading, with which, certain segments of a frame can be shaded, allowing the system to allocate more resources to the important part, and lesser on unimportant parts. This will lead to the enhancement of all gaming aspects, as more processing power is being focused only towards the relevant part of the frame. The Exynos 2200 GPU is expected to be up to 30% faster than the current top Mali GPU, which should put it slightly ahead of the upcoming Mali G710 as well. However, the final performance will depend on the clock speed that Samsung is able to achieve with the final chip design. So guys that's pretty much we have here for now, we would love to know your thoughts on this. Hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative, and if you did, hit the like button and stay subscribed for more.